Good morning everyone. <laughs> Nakitulog ako dito kina Tita Lori. Kasi nabod na kami ng traffic last night pa uwi. So, nakitulog. Dito na ako pinatulog. Mga 12.30 na kami dumating. Tapos nanood kami ng movie. Tapos, bising na sila, gising na ata sila. Nag-emote ako kasi nakita ko yung surprise video ng ate ko sa sister namin na nag-birthday. Anyway, magkakape muna ako. Hello, dreamers! <laughs> I'm walking, I'm rushing because I need to get an Ontario ID, they say. As my friends, my classmates told me, so I'm rushing right now and I'm trying to check if I can make it because it's already 4.30 and the closing time is 5 p.m. It's about 20 minutes, a 20 minute walk from here. It's a bright and sunny day today. I did all the household chores for today. I washed the dishes. Uh, I washed, I did the laundry and ironing and many other things. And I talked to Ati Jen while I'm doing the ironing. I talked to Ati Jen and we discussed more about the updates about life our relatives and cousins way back home and and stuff so let me just go and get my Ontario ID we're walking on the rainbow pathway <laughs> So I'm um, I've already went to service Ontario. However, they need an appointment for you to get accommodated, so chances are I need to find a different service Ontario office. I'm sure there are a lot here in downtown area. But wait, I think I'm lost. I'm just can I go? Where shall I go? Yeah, so that's about it. You need to get that appointment. So I'm going to have to go down and go outside to College Park. Just chill out and relax. Try to assess things and try to see other things also here in the downtown area and maybe we can get something exciting for today so we are here at the college park and look at that high-rise buildings surrounding us I was here before but I was having a coffee on that side but now I'm just gonna walk around the area on the other side. So right now, Ontario is already on its uh, level three of reopening. Dining customers are already allowed to, uh, given that uh, they would follow a 50% capacity. So there are children around. So it's a nice place also to get your children down here and just have fun. I think these are residential apartments. I wanna go there but it's wet. Let's try and check around. Oh, that looks nice. 
So what I like about this city is that even if it's like crowded because there are a lot of people here but they still have a lot of open spaces. They have a lot of open spaces that they use for recreation and that's very important to ensure that the quality of life of its residents yes the quality of life of each resident of its residents are also being taken into consideration as they do this development around They don't, they don't just uh, like develop the place, make it so commercialized and they don't think that it could be very exhausting for its residents and the people who are visiting around. I think I'm gonna go get some coffee first or a meal. So this is the whole college park. And I'm walking to Yong Street. I've been here before. I made a different uh, a vlog about this place also, but just when I was like passing over, passing by. So here they have a lot of shops and restaurants. And there's another park right in front of us so can you see you can see that you can see that how they uphold uh, the interests of the residents here so on that side that's where my school is if you have to turn left but I'm going this way to Young and Dundas This is like the Shibuya of Toronto. This is Young and Dundas Square. This is Eaton Center. This is where I always go. <laughs> so there are a lot of activities that you can do here. Hello, so I'm here at uh, Eaton Urban Eatery. So in the Philippines, para siyang a food court or food hall. So it made me remember pangit ng quality. Made me remember uh, Newton Food Center in Singapore, but it is like in a mall setting. So there's a lot of food options over here and up to that side. But I took a Chinese dish, it's a black pepper beef and a honey chicken. They don't have pork but I wanted to sit on sour pork because I've been craving for it but it's fine. And so I was like walking around and this is a very big mall. Uh, Eaton Center used to be the biggest mall in the whole of Toronto until uh, Yorkdale came and York people would uh, the outskirts would prefer Yorkdale than Eaton Center because it's, it's at the center of Toronto and it's very busy in the downtown area. So let me just eat my food first. And uh, Because we're used to cleaning up after our, our, our meals but right now you don't need to clean it up because there are servers who will clean it and sanitize the table for the next user. So that's, uh, that's the wisdom behind that. And because some people are still used to cleaning up after their own mess, so they still do it. But the table is not, is not yet sanitized and people might come in, might go and use it without it being cleaned. So I think that's the reason why. And suddenly the light in front of me was turned, it turned off all of a sudden. 
So after eating right now, I'm gonna go uh, on the street of Young and Dundas Square and walk around going to Church Street and up to my home. So let me just check further what's, what else is there to see. Ciao!